Hello, we are Team KOR entering the TJI 2022 RCAP Robotics Competition as finalists, explaining about us and the challenge we went through as we go through the preliminary challenge. In this section, we will be explaining who we are, what we have done before in Co-Space RCAP Challenge, and what makes us qualified to be in the competition. Our team consists of two members. I am Harry Kim, age 16, and I have many experience in, our, in the RCAP competition. As I have attended to 2016 Dubai RoboCup, 2018 Russia RoboCup, and many more. I also have five years experience of LEGO Robotics allowing me to be qualified of this competition. The second member of our team is Jay Lee, age 14. While he is new to RoboCop, he has many experiences as he has done Bex Robotics to understand the fundamental basis of robotics and continued along with learning C language coding, which made him very flexible with complex coding. Moving on, I will explain what the Coastbase challenge is and the strategies we put in. This is the general map of Coastbase for Q Simulator. As can be seen, we are given a field containing various opticals and objects. The objects are called red. Cyan and black. Red is worth 10 points, cyan is worth 15 points, black is worth 20 points. Additionally, Coastbase has multiple facilities involving the blue zone where the point is doubled, the deposit zone to save the point since the robot can only eat 6 points at a time, slow zone where the robot is slowed down immensely, and it also has the yellow, blue circle where you lose the current object you gain if you step on the inner circle. There is also a secret mechanism where if you deposit with at least one red cyan black, a super object is created which is worth 90 points. If your robot is fully loaded with two red, two cyan, and two black along with the depositing successfully, a super plus object is created which is worth 180 points. After seeming the map and processing and proceed a long discovery, we figured out some strategies we can use in the map. First of all, generally speaking, Coastbase Rescue Simulation requires a lot of efficient overclocking. We figured getting as much RRGV BD to create super plus object is the most efficient way. So we need to devise a way to check down super objects that are randomly spawned in the map. The second strategy we figured was skimming through the outer layer of the map. We, we saw the inner layer of the map was complicated with different opticals and slow zones. We figured it would be more e efficient to skim to outer layer of the map than the inner layer. As a result, we got a total score of 2,650 points, which is comparably a high score considering how many people can't score 1,000 points. In conclusion, the reason for success was we were able to be successful since we deposited a perfect code to track down the super object. Now I will explain about what strategies we used to track the super object. After a long time of discussion and figuring out a plan, we decided to use the triangle to track the super object. Once a super object is created, we get the coordinate of the super object for a moment. We save the coordinate and subtract with our current coordinate, allowing ourselves to get the distance between the super objects. Once we have the distance, we multiply pi to the distance, allowing us to get the angle in the radian form, making our robot turn to the specific angle. Facing the super object using a compass. Now the robot is looking at the direction of the super object, and we, all we need to do is send it in a straight line to obtain the super object. Now we will share a quick video of the most exciting moment of our game. The game has just started and the robot is currently aiding a cyan. Because it ate in the blue zone, it has doubled the point. So instead of getting 15 point, we received 30 point. Um, as the robot went to eat the red, it stepped on the position info, lo info loss zone, which makes the code a little weird, which makes the robot go left and right like that. In the real run, we have to be careful that does not happen. But for this, it's just a example video of how our code works. I won't be restarting. 
I do not know why that relocation happened. The robot is going to eat a black. It's going to fully eat an RGB before it deposits to create a super object. We figured RGB is more efficient than any RRGGBB because as can be seen in the map, the black is spread out everywhere and not there is not much space where the two blacks are clumped in together. So rather than spending time on eating RGB, we would just finish eating our um, only one RGB set like this. And once it deposit, a super object is created really near so the robot can eat it right away. It's scanning. Now it has seen the RGB. So it has taken the RGB as can be seen. Before the robot goes to deposit, it follows through a certain matched up code. So the robot will not probably not go to the deposit zone. The first thing it will do is go around and try to get another RGB set in order to be more efficient since depositing takes also three seconds, which means that we are losing three seconds to get more items. So yeah, this is how our code works. Now I'll talk about applying knowledge to the real world. Comparing autonomous vehicle with close based rescue simulation, we noticed there are so many things to talk, take account with. Since autonomous cars are moved around we want and doesn't require many power, it gives opportunity to the people who can't drive a row around as they wish. However, as auto autonomous people can be very dangerous, a safe it's safety precautions such as hacking and overflow of data or not taken seriously, mm -hmm. it can be slow in the process of development. So comparing the two different ro robotics, we noticed how our competition and challenge is allowing people to consider more op options as they, develop, as they develop technology and move on to innovation.